You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to our Rangers Master League series on none other than Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. We have played uh, the final two games of the first phase and as you can see by the title of this video, the second phase has begun and wow, the title race has heated up indeed. But first of all, let me show you the results from the previous two games. First of all, we have this. Uh, we had this game against Livingston, which we won three 0 Celtic also won, uh, which meant that it was still, you know, two points adrift. Uh, and then we had this one where we beat Hamilton one 0 but Range uh, Celtic even should I say actually drew nil nil to Hearts, which meant that we're both level on points, but we do go first based on having a better goal difference. So, with the second phase beginning. It's really heating up. It's really, really heating up indeed. And uh, there is all to play for. And uh, here's just a, a rundown of the fixtures, really. We have Hibs today, which we'll be playing. Uh, and then that will end that ep this episode. And then we have Celtic in the next episode in what, what is a massive old firm game. Oh, my word. It is, it's got to be the biggest of the series uh, so far. Surely could be the title decider. You know, so um, that's going to be absolutely massive. Uh, then we've got Hearts and St Mirren. I'm going to do that in a double header episode. And then we'll round it off with Aberdeen away. Uh, oh, this is going to be it's going to be tense. You know, it's come right down to the wire. Uh, but I suppose, you know, it, it provides the most excitement. So, you know, we'll, we'll go with that. But yes, it is Hibs away uh, today. Starting... The, uh, the second phase. And uh, let me just go into my game plan here. Same team. Same team plays. Uh, I see no reason to change it. It's worked out well for us. I know we bottled it against Juventus last time out. But in the league, apart from that game anyway, uh, it was doing very well. So we are going to stick with it. So a few changes to the Hibs lineup. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe energy issues. McLaren uh, not playing. Usually does get the start. Whitaker. Sometimes gets played in centre back, not today. Uh, but they brought uh, brought the lots of Horgan back in, so I don't know we'll uh, we'll see. Again, Adam Bogdan doesn't make the side, the usual goalkeeper issue. But that's about it, really. We'll have a look at our team for a minute. Following him in goal, of course, Lukaku, Katic, Suta, and uh, Tavani at the back. Diawara as our sort of anchorman half back, uh, and then uh, McTominay and Vatinho. In centre midfield, and then of course, Adamola Lukman, Andrei Yamalenko, and uh, Alfredo Morelos up front. Here's hoping today that we can uh, replicate what the side did in real life the other day and score seven. Uh, knowing Alec, though, we'd score seven and uh, concede eight. So there you go. But uh, yeah, as you can see, in fact, I'm just going to show you the league table before we uh, before we get into it. That's how it looks so far. The goal difference is looking very healthy at the moment. As you can see, we conceded a lot more, but also scored a lot more than Celtic. So that's what's putting us uh, in good stead so far. Um, literally the same record. Draws, losses, wins. It's tight, isn't it? It is really, really close. And uh, it's going to come down right to the wire. So, so excited for it. Hope you're all going to join me. Not just for this episode, but for the rest of the uh, episodes this season to see if we can finally close out the stage and finally get our first title of the series. But on that note, it is time to begin. So let's get into the game.
Here we go then guys, the beginning of the second phase. Hopefully it ends out well for us. Oh, comes into look one, forces a good save. It's a nice ball, slots into that close area. Look one, there wasn't a whole lot more he could have done with that. Really manages to get the shot away and keeper parries it out for a corner in the end. Comes out to Matomini and he's got space. He'll have a go there. Forces another save from the keeper. Look one to whip it back in. Terrible. Oh, what a ball that is to Adamo Lukwun. And now he's got space. He's going to try and cut it back to Morelos. And that's 1-0. Finally, we find that clear opening. And we take advantage of it. What a ball this is from Vitinho. And Lukwun, a good run as well. Undercuts the defender, essentially. And he's uh, he shows patience there to wait for the right opening. Doesn't just panic and whip it in straight away. In the end, lays it back to Morelos, who uh, calmly slots in. Surely he's never going to miss him there, is he? And uh, finally, we've uh, broken the deadlock, and it is 1-0. Look when wanted that run of Morelos. Didn't really get it quick enough. And Yarmolenko will whip it in now. Morelos is there, and it's 2-0. He's starting to really enjoy himself, Alfredo Morelos. And he rises above all the defenders. It's such a good ball in from Yarmolenko. It's a sort of pinpoint accuracy we've been looking for from our crosses. We don't get often enough. And Morelos, he doesn't even have to move for it. It's pinpoint accuracy uh, from Yarmolenko out on the right-hand side. With his weaker foot as well. Morelos rises higher. Defenders marking isn't brilliant. And it's 2-0. That's half time then, guys. So far, so good. We really turn it on in the end. We've limited hips to nothing. It's been a, a dominant performance, really. And hopefully, we can maintain that in the second half. Oh, what a finish that is, to be fair. That's an unreal goal. Not a lot I could have done about that. It's out of nowhere. Fair play to that guy. Uh, we'll have to have another look at that one. Suter has to get called out onto the right. Tavani is sort of... He's been voiding the game. What a finish that is, to be fair. It is a quality goal. And, uh, you know, not going to make much excuses for that. It's just a brilliant goal. And a fair play to him. I think the touch was a bit wonky. Not sure he meant to do that, but... Nevertheless, still a really good finish. And uh, annoyingly, oh, he's been taken off now after scoring that goal. Uh, can't imagine he'll be too pleased with that. It's now 2 1. We've got a little bit to do again. Looks at Yarmolenko, and he's got Yarmolenko as well. Oh, he's got that low ball offer in the box. It's McTominay. Oh, it's close. Oh, Morelos, he's got the overlapping run of Lukman, who's in. Defenders left him. Lukman's through one-on-one. -on -one. Can he remain calm? No, he can't. It's straight at the keeper. Wow. Oh, he's headed. Oh, my word, it's off the bar. Get rid. Don't take a touch. Stop taking touches. If I want you to get rid, just get rid. And, uh, yeah, nervy, nervous moment. That was there. Uh, it's a bar. Fodderman's getting nowhere near it again. Taking a switch. Out, just do what I say. Oh, get rid of it. Lukaku, again. I'm taking him off. He's been absolutely awful, guys. He's going off. I'm just putting Akimi on instead. And we're going to... Rotate these centre midfielders around as well. We'll bring Scott Arfield on. We'll bring Koulibaly on. So closing the ball down. They're expending a lot of energy uh, in doing that. We'll make all three subs now. Koulibaly has the space to drive into now. Hibernian have committed a lot of men forward. Oh, and he's just opened up for him down the middle and scores... Uh, 
Yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunately, that sort of ruined that moment a bit. And the, um, I don't like scoring goals like that, where it just opens up for him. It's terrible for him, the AI. I'm not sure why they haven't fixed this issue. I mean, <laughs> you know, what can you do? And they're all following their men. Like what, you, what defenders do in that situation is they split themselves half and half between the man that's on the ball and the man running so they can go to either. But in that case, they just both follow their men and allow him to run in on goal. Um, so that's a bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, we've got the goal, thankfully. He burning committed a lot of men forward. And uh, they've paid the price for it on the counter-attack. And it's Lasana Koulibaly, the substitute. Oh, come out, Fodderingham. Yes. Good save. And that'll be full-time, guys, in the end. It's a quite a convincing win despite a, a, a little 10-minute spell here or there in, in the game where we got a, a little bit nervous. Uh, but apart from that, very... Uh, very convincing in the end. Should be slightly worried about that second half performance, but not, not too, not too worried. Thankfully, um, you know we were nice and well, fairly clinical, and uh, we've got the three points here. Let's have a look at the other results that come in. Celtic have beaten Hearts this time around, so uh, it will remain the same. Thankfully, though, we uh, still top of the table, so <laughs> that will do until the next game, which, as you'll see now, ha. Oh, what a big one. What a big one. And I hope that you will uh, you'll join me for that episode. It is going to be absolutely massive. Uh, thankfully, it's at home, so hopefully that gives us some sort of advantage. But, um, you know, we'll see anyway. We shall see. Uh, that's going to that's gonna finish the episode off there, to be fair, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope that you'll, you'll join me for the rest of them in this, uh, well, for the rest of this season anyway. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. And check out cdkeys.com for all the latest, uh, cheapest deals on games and codes. Uh, check out the affiliate link in the description uh, to head over to uh, their website. But on that note, guys, it's time to round it off there. So until next time, I'm Brom18, and I'll see you soon. Come on.